Hello everybody, Wild Bill for America here with a reminder that the incident that triggered America's original war for independence was when the British decided to confiscate privately owned firearms. The right to keep and bear arms is vital for the preservation of American freedom. As a 20 year law enforcement veteran, I can tell you that private gun ownership is one of the most important crime deterrents in America. Another great crime deterrent is a moral education so that the youth grow up to be responsible men and women. But moral education was stomped out years ago by the same liberal extremists who now say they're going to ban the firearms that Americans use to defend themselves from criminals. Isn't it interesting that the same people who want to take our guns are the same ones who are calling for more Muslims to come here from terrorist nations? I saw a Facebook meme yesterday uh, detailing the Democrats' vetting process for the Muslim hordes. It had two questions. One, are you a terrorist, yes or no? Two, do you promise to vote Democrat for the rest of your life? Welcome to America, enjoy the free benefits. Yes, one of the main reasons the Democrats are flooding this nation with illegals and uneducated refugees is so they can pack the ballot boxes with illegal votes and forever end our ability to vote in conservative political candidates. But along with that nonsense comes a brutal crime wave. Thank you, liberal Democrats. So, have the Democrats become so stupid that they're ready to try the same mistake the British did in the 1770s? I think they are. Now, the most likely liberal scheme will be for them to make a massive declaration of mental illness, making it illegal for millions of Americans to own guns. Dianne Feinstein already made the statement that all veterans are mentally ill. I am quite confident that strong faith in Jesus Christ will also be declared a reason to deny gun ownership. Anyone who stands against sexual perversion is considered homophobic. So in the twisted minds of liberals, morally upright people are mentally ill and thus can be stripped of their Second Amendment rights. And speaking of mythological mental illness, we might as well throw in Islamophobia. Americans who want to defend themselves against Muslim terrorists are, in the sick world of liberalism, mentally ill with Islamophobia and therefore will be on the mentally ill gun ban list. Another dirty tactic to strip the Second Amendment will be the liberal fee schemes, tacking on outrageous government fees for the privilege of owning a firearm. One such scheme is to force all gun owners to purchase huge expensive insurance policies for every firearm they own. Fortunately, the Supreme Court has ruled over and over that no citizen has to pay prior to exercising their constitutional rights. Now we just have to keep the liberals from corrupting the Supreme Court any more than they already have. Liberals are already passing laws that prevent privately owned firearms from being passed down as an inheritance. When dad dies, the liberals say his guns must be turned into the state. All these schemes are illegal and anti-American, but that never deters liberals from their quest to bring down American freedom. So I remind America, that it was gun confiscation that triggered the first war to throw off tyranny, and that may well be the trigger for a new war to throw off liberal tyranny. The right to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed, period. In my humble opinion, it is the duty of every non-idiot American man to own a rifle and a handgun and to know how to use them. The Founding Fathers wrote the Second Amendment for the specific purpose of defending our freedom from our own government if necessary. And it appears that this government has finally degenerated to where a new Declaration of Independence needs to be made and all the consequences that come with that. This is Wild Bill for America. Thank you for watching and America bless God again.